Okay. <laughs> Stassi fucking Schroeder is on the podcast today. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so fucking excited. I think that like... It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. If I look back and like go back to when I was obsessed with Vanderpump Rules, like it was... It's wild to put myself in, in the in the headspace, which was like, oh, my God, like, would Stassi come on my podcast? Like, I think I, you probably have messages for me from, like, 2016. I don't. I would have seen it. You think? Yeah. Well, I, like, wasn't verified. I was, like, a loser, you know? <laughs> it was just, like, beginning. I was, like, watching Vanderpump on, like, a, 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 a laptop, a dirty laptop and recapping it. God, so vintage. No, I remember when I started following you. It was during COVID. Do you know that I remember when you started following me? And I'll tell you the story. I don't remember if it was COVID, but I remember that I was watching Vanderpump Rules. It must, it must Probably have been. Probably was COVID. It must have been your last season, which was seven. Mm-hmm. Tell or me eight. The, or eight. I think. And then you did like a bathtub of ranch or some shit. What? No. Yes, you did. You did something like super basic bitchy. I've never ranch. put ranch dressing. OK, like I need everyone. No, can, to know. You, can you? No. Re- take a moment. I've never put ranch episode, in a bathtub. OK, did you? You did some like fo- like there was something with ranch and like a bathtub. Maybe you were doing the photo shoot for your book. There was no ranch involved. No ranch. There was, was hurt. A, okay. In- uh, okay. We're going to, I'm going to do fact checking after this episode, but there was something that was like, there was like basic bitch, basic bitch, basic bitch vibes. Uh-huh. And I remember like that day I posted it and I was like, okay, we got it. You're a basic bitch. You're a basic <laughs> yeah. bitch. And you started following me that day and I was having like a panic attack that like you saw that. Um, and then when you didn't care or yeah. it seemed like it, I was like, oh my God, she's so chill. Like she doesn't care that I was, because it wasn't like, mean well i know like i'm fully aware of when i am being cringe like i'm i know like so when other people call it out like i'm like you're you're right i just don't know how to stop yeah i I think it was just an overload maybe in my mind i exaggerated to be a bath but there was an episode that was like overload it was like ranch and like what other things you say that are basic bitchy um (laughs) God, I don't like remember. I, is it just is it ranch? just is it just ranch? Was that it? Like uh, was that my whole brand? It was ranch? like my whole, but my all my personality traits. It's like there was ranch, Game of Thrones, um, Game of Thrones. murder stuff, murder stuff, like uh, wine, O O T D S, O O T D S, yeah, uh, yeah. But I did like a Chandler, like you know, and he's like, so I was like, oh, I got it. And then when you didn't care, I was like, oh, my God. First of all, I was nervous. Like, I remember being nervous. I was like, oh, my God. I Because put- when I started, it's like I could say whatever I wanted and nobody totally. knew. And then slowly it's like, you know, people that you're talking about. But I wondered, you know what I wonder? I'd love to go through my Vanderpump Rules um, because – Vander- recapping Vanderpump Rules was kind of my beginning. Do you know that? No, not yeah. at all. Yeah. Did you loathe me? You can say yes. No. Really? Not at So at many people all. do. <laughs> I didn't loathe anybody. Here's the thing. Like, I remember talking about it and being like, you guys are taking this too seriously. Like, these are characters. Like, Jax and James. Like, I never even hated James. Like, even yeah. when he was super fucked up, it's like he's like a character that has like depth and like different things. I actually liked you and your like one liners and that you'd like tell Jax. I remember, I remember I used to love what you would be like, I'm going to take your balls and like chop them up and eat them for salad. Oh, I know that became so old though. See, that's the thing. <laughs> I got so sick of it. It's like talking about my birthday. Like, the first couple of years, it's I. My- Thanking no, birthday. Amanda, I don't even like my birthday. Like that was like a very <laughs> early 20s thing. Like I went through like, you know, in my early 20s, I'm like, my birthday is like a whole month. It's a whole it's it, it's everything. It, everyone needed to know about it. Everyone needed to acknowledge it, respect it. Yeah. After not it, not talk to you, not, like, like, <laughs> not approach, not leave the no party. One, yes. I am having a flashback of you like what were you like an axe murderer on your birth? What was that theme? That was my favorite one. What was um, the theme? It was a, mur- it, it was a, it was like the death of my twenties. So it was, I was turning 29. And you had that, you were, went outside with Kristen and Stassi. I'm they Stassi. They you with Kristen, <laughs> Stassi. with Kristen and Katie. Yeah. They, somebody annoyed you for like 
No, what? it was like so. It was like such a dark, twisted like chain of events that like led me there. And I'm trying to remember. Oh, Katie wanted me to to leave like where I was hanging out and go into another room and get like a lap dance from a stripper. And that's just like so not my thing. And I was wasted. And I was a terrorist when I tell you that like I terrorized the producer so much. People that are actually like my best friend, my closest friends now, that I wrote them handwritten apology notes afterwards like I like atoned for my sins in like such a serious way like I I felt horrible because there's one thing that like I I know that I am and I'm respectful like with people who I work with and and that's like a thing that I won't cross that line Mm -hmm. I disrespected them and like I I I get cringe sweats when I think about it like I you know those things where like yeah you think about and you're like oh my god I can't believe I did that that was that but no, Katie did wanted Lisa me to get a handwritten note. I didn't. I didn't. Did I? Did, you never disrespected Lisa. N- not in a way that gave me cringe sweats. Okay, okay. Not in a way that like hurt my soul. Yeah. No. So just like producers. Just some. It was just two producers, two girls. But yeah, no. Katie wanted me to get a lap dance by, from a stripper, and I just like freaked out. I was hammered and took. We all went outside and just <laughs> cried. I don't know. I, it's my fucking friend. Okay, but this is what I'm I saying. That, I say that every year, by the way. Amanda, like, I don't I love it. So I don't like my birthday. I can't remember the last time I actually did something big for it. Like it to me, it's like thirty the, maybe every, which was four years ago. Yeah, that was on the show. And every year, our producers would make me be like, "Can you please talk about how it's your birthday?" I'm like, "But I don't, I don't care anymore. Mm. I don't fucking care." And it was the same way with those lines where being like, "Can you talk about how you would want to torture someone?" And I'm like, "You guys, I'm not. This that was like six years ago. Like I'm a little different. Like yeah. I've I've grown a tad. Do I really have to sit here in this interview chair and think of ways to murder people?" And they're like, "Yes, that's what Bravo's asking for right now." Well, you know that you <laughs> ruined reality TV for me because I remember I was talking to you. I don't remember when it was, and like. You were like, oh, that's a pickup. I'm like, oh, what now? And like, it was I'm, like, I'm not gonna, yeah. And I'm not, I, I'm, I won't. Your signs still on things. What? What? You're not what? No, I'm not gonna say which scenes. I feel like I know exactly what you're talking about, and yeah. I don't want to like kill, like ruin it for ruin people? it for people. Wait, yeah, you don't know what I'm talking about. Yes, I do. What? I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, I'll tell you after. If it's not it, can you say yes? Maybe uh, it's something else that I'm thinking about. Okay, what are you thinking about? I'm thinking about the book signing. No, that was real. The no, books. the the with Tom Sandoval. Yeah, that was not a, nothing about that was a pickup. Nothing about that was a pickup. Yeah. And all the people that were there for the signing witnessed it. Yeah, that was not a pickup. That was not. OK, so other things were pickups. If you guys don't know what a pickup is. It's when uh, um, a few months goes by after you filmed a scene. I can't believe you still don't want to ruin it. You loyal weirdo. I know. Well, I mean, the show's still on and yeah. like I want it to succeed but for that people. doesn't mean anything bad if it's like a pickup. OK, what's a pickup? Um, so a month after once the, like, you know, producers production has reviewed the footage, they're like, we missed. We didn't get this part that happened in real life, but we didn't catch it. Mm-hmm. So then you have to go back to in the same clothes you wore, same makeup, all of that stuff and redo it. Yeah. And they use that. So, guys, if you notice, like, all of a sudden, Ariana's, like, talking to Lisa and she has, like, long hair. Yeah. But what happened, she had short hair. Yeah. Which, like, I remember seeing moments like this and being like, what is happening? And, like, imagine how weird that is. Like, put yourself in the headspace of, like, something happening four months later, acting like it had just happened and, like, you have the same exact feelings about it. No. So you have to be an actor, kind of. I would put, like, certain songs on and then just put, my like, um, headphones in and just, like, get into the zone of Character. whatever feeling that was. Like, a really sad song or something that made me depressed if I was supposed to be, like, upset and crying. Or just, like, if I was ang- had to be, like, angry or I would... There were so many different ways that I could, like, put myself back there. But it just actually fucked up. It's, like, really fucked up. But... What I kept on telling people when I kind of got more in with like Vanderpump Rules, baby, I was like, you guys, this is real. Like the real world slogan, which is like real. Yeah, yeah. it was real. Like the Jax Kristen oh, stuff, which yes. I was like, that was the wildest. When people yeah. used to ask me like why Vanderpump Rules, I was like, have you watched a show where a best friend fucks her best friend's boyfriend while her boyfriend is like in the other room like have you seen that on reality tv because no it doesn't exist anywhere and there were no pickups 
back then. <laughs> <laughs> there literally weren't. We like managed to just like get it all done. That was so real. It's so wild. Nothing is more real than season one of Vanderpump Rules. It's I mean, it's if dark. you guys haven't bi- like binge it, binge it. I watched it all years later. I was like, I started season one when it was season seven, and I didn't follow any of you on purpose. So I was living in a reality. <laughs> Where Jax is kind of cute, like his shaved head. Like he was cute season one. You dated him. Right. Um, where I was like, oh, my God, Jax on Stasi. Meanwhile, Jax was in real like was Imagine like real, life, real life is happening and I'm like living that truth. Like right. that's how committed I was. Um, but yeah, and then Bravo like noticed that I was talking about it and I became like involved with Bravo. So it was kind of like the begin, And they think that I'm like a Bravo girl. No, I'm not like I don't watch almost any of the housewives, but it somehow became like a huge part of me. Vanderpump rules? I don't yes. feel like it. I don't feel like it Babe, is. Do you know though when I went to Bra- no, cuz not anymore, but when I went when I started, I went to BravoCon. Um I was so nervous, I remember. And I only came to the to the Vanderpump Rules moderating thing. Oh. I didn't like go to any other ones. And I want to remind you cuz I was there and I remember this was cringe to me. Not you. You okay. weren't. I mean, it's, it's like about a, you. Another has, moment. <laughs> it has to do with you. But um, the moderator was like, who do you guys think, asking the cast, like, who do you guys think is the most famous out of all of you? I remember this. And everybody but, was it Tom Sandoval? Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I remember <laughs> this. No, it was Andy Cohen who was asking these questions. Yeah. No, it yeah. was Andy Cohen. Andy Cohen was the moderator, and I'll never forget when he was like, you could just see like the twinkle in his eye when he was like, I'm going to torture these kids right now. I say kids because like I'm used to being like, we're used to being called yeah. that, the, the kids of Bravo. And he asked us, I want to go around individually, and I want all of you guys to answer, who do you think is the mo- most famous, I most think? Most famous, most popular, Most yeah. popular, something like that. And of- the crowd starts screaming, like, Stasi, And I'm like, this, if I am, like, Jax right now, or, like, Katie, or anybody, I'd be, like, upset. Even if I deep down knew that was the truth, like, we don't need to scream it for, like, how did you feel? Were you so jaded? Are you serious? What, you loved it? it? Fuck yes, I loved it. Are you Are you joking? When they were, like, having us walk out one by one, and, like, we could hear the level of the, the audience, and yeah. then I walked out, and I was like, whoa, so much louder. I mean, of course that's validating. Yeah. If, like, you're lying if you're if you're no, up there and you... like if you're a self-aware person, which you are, it's also a little scary, no, to, like, be to know that the other people with you probably hate you. I've but I've known that for a while. Okay. So like I've I've had like that mark on my back. I've always felt that mark on my back since like the beginning. Yeah. So that's like not something at least in a situation like that, like I feel way safer because I had everyone the people. the people not that it mattered. But do you feel because... like they just hated you? Like if you felt hate, did you feel the hate just because you were like loved more or what did they not like you as a person um I'm sure a few of them didn't like me as a person I'm I'm sure yeah um but I know that like listen when you're on a reality show and you start with your friends you're starting at this the same like the right, same line right, you're right, starting right. and and it's you end up being in competition with each other whether you right. like it or not but you're also supposed to be friends at the same time it's like it's really it's weird it's messy and it's yeah it's like not good for friendships but so i can't believe that you being like the most famous out of the group people loved you you're like bye i'm gonna move to new york with fucking patrick well i don't know if i was like was i like even popular back then i don't was know it, that it was, was like, like season three yeah i guess you're right like I would, you left everything I, for a dude, basically. I know. As, I'm such a romantic. Yeah. Um, I think that there was so much more to it than that, though, because it had just come out. You know, I had just filmed season two. And it's so weird to talk about right now. I, like, didn't expect to talk about Vanderpump Rules. It's kind of fun, actually. Um, Jax and Kristen, that whole thing had just happened. And so I'm like, well, my what I thought was my friend group just exploded. Mm. So why would I put myself through this again? Kristen's no longer my friend. Fuck Jax. Like, fuck all of them. Like, so... So it's kind of cool, though, that you didn't care as much about, like, staying in the... on the scene. Yeah. I I guess that makes me cool. Right. Hip. 
no, because think about it. If you Trendy, were if you were just thinking a tastemaker, if it, you were just thinking about like being famous, you would stay on and be like, fuck it. I'm going to come on more drama, more like lights, camera action. Yeah. OK, I see what you're saying. Um, but you were like, no, I'm not going to put myself in that. Yeah, no. Position. I'm like I can I'm capable of doing other things that yeah. don't involve torturing myself at sir to be on camera. Yeah. But, but I did come crawling back. Then you did come crawling yeah, back. Yeah, I did come crawling back. Yeah. Yeah. Then quit again and then like crawled back again. Did you, it's a, it, Would you crawl back again as like a, No. No. Not now that I'm a mom. No. Absolutely not. And I I wonder if I wasn't a mom like if I had just gone through like the shit storm that was 2020. Like, I wonder how I would feel if I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'll go back. I'm not sure how I would feel. But now that I, I have Hartford and I'm so protective of the family that I've built and I'm protective of, like, my happiness and my family's happiness now that, like, I'm, I'm not fucking with that. No. So would you do other reality TV? Um, I've said this uh, before that I feel like only if I was like Chris Jenner you know if I was executive producing it if I knew exactly what was going out there I just like can't imagine putting Hartford in a position where there are editors who are going to edit her to 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 have some sort of reality out there that's not her actual reality and yeah. that everyone's going to watch something that I didn't approve or if I don't think is is real like I just don't I don't know. Also, it's like kind of like it, it, my opinion changes all the time. Like maybe if you ask me in a few months, I'd, I'll I'll have a, a change of heart or I'd change my mind. But there is something to be said for like the peace and happiness that like and privacy that you have as a human living life off camera. A hundred percent. But you know what I was thinking? This isn't you. I just want your opinion on it. You know, Nicole Richie. That did like uh yeah i love nicole richie right she did the what's it called the simple life the simple life yeah and it was just like her birthday and obviously she posted something funny and i was like she should have never left our screens like she was a uh you didn't watch her show which one wait she did um oh my god oh, I something lo- recent it, everyone told me it was like five years ago she did like a couple seasons it was like sketch comedy but like half reality and i'm like you are oh i remember yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. she is a genius like, no, she's so good so my that my point is i was talking to somebody about it like somebody in the industry about nicole N- no yeah about nicole richie and i was like oh i love her like she shouldn't have left our screens like i said it again because i repeat it and then they were like she like because imagine the Kardashians stayed on for all these years, right? Yeah. Like, they don't have to. They d- they're they doing it for, like, business and whatever. Right. She could have been, like, up there almost. Do you get what I mean? But sometimes do you want to like be up there? She, that's the qu- – right. That's the, a huge – it's a commitment. It's a fucking huge sacrifice for them. But I'm just saying, like, Nicole Richie, which, like – like Nicole an Richie, example. I think she looks like she has like a pretty fucking amazing life. Like she's going to be on her deathbed one day and be like, I made all of the right decisions. That's true. You know, that's true. And there's something to, I mean, there's just like something to be said for that. Like we don't always need to just be like the most famous, the most popular. I, I agree. I, I even like think accomplishing the most. Don't you even like, do you look back, especially with everything that went down with you, like wish that you were a little bit less famous? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Yeah. That like did not do any do me any favors. <laughs> it was just like it was like right at that like that that Peak. like that level of like I'm I'm not so incredibly famous to where like I'll still be like totally OK no matter what. Yeah. But like I wasn't not not famous enough to where like people just wouldn't care. It was like at this this line where it like mattered where like it it really affected my life because like I'm not the most famous person in the world, the most successful and like but I'm not not. Yeah. You know what I not mean? Nobody. I'm like a no like, like a, you'll make you it made headlines like it'll be in the media. Yeah. But like unlike s- other like influencer drama that could stay like on stay the under the ra- right. some stay under the radar. Yeah. yeah. It was a wild time. What's wildest to me is like how knock on wood Hartford is here. She's healthy. Mm-hmm. You were pregnant during that time. Yes. I mean, I'm so thankful, though, that like that, because if, if she wasn't pregnant and I was going through that, I would have just like been it would have drugs. been hardcore chaos, like real chaotic fucking dark energy. Like, I feel like I would have lost my mind. And I also feel like I was the most like calm and collected out of 
like my whole family like and everyone had to around calm me. Everybody down. I felt like I like Bo and and you know people like you know Lo and and people in my life and my family were way more worried and stressed out and filled with like anxiety and I was just like we're gonna no it's gonna be fine like I'm pregnant Wait, were you already pregnant when everything went down or did you get pregnant a little bit no you were pregnant I was nine weeks pregnant yeah so people were probably scared like about the baby yeah everyone was but like I that I, I really wasn't I'm like I I got this like I was able to really like calm the fuck down like I I don't know really looking back so it you was really were like you were okay yes I'm like am I not remembering this correctly like I I feel like people like look at me and they're like how is it possible that you were just like okay of course like I had a few moments where I was like sobbing uncontrollably like duh like duh yeah but for the most part I just found ways to cope like yeah. and I had like something that I've, wa- I've wanted to be a mother my whole life that's been like number one on my priority like life list yeah I'm like I have this right now like this how can I like be angry and live with anger when like I've been gifted this like Mm. it was fairly fucking easy to because you were pregnant you feel like yeah what would you say like how was the Stasi today the woman Mm -hmm. different than the Stasi then um, it's, it's interesting that you asked me that because I feel like I talk about this now on my podcast because I've been really insecure about releasing my podcast because I feel straight up with Sassy. Yeah. Straight up with Sassy. It's back, bitches. It's back. Um, because I feel so different to the point that I feel like I'm going to disappoint mm. all of the old listeners and fans. Just throw in some ranch. No. <laughs> and like I like you're less savage like yeah I'm way less savage and like way less like judgy and I'm like I'm I'm just it's not me and yeah. it's not me trying to be like oh look I'm nicer now it's just I've gone through some life experience and on top of that life experience I also became a mom and I just see things differently and yeah. I also like don't but people grow up with you you know that's the thing I hope like so. the people that listen to you then and they were, you know, as stupid as you, as savage as you, as like, you know, young and stupid as you. And like they've grown up too. You know, I hope so. And I just really think that it's not like something that people should aspire to be. <clears throat> like, I don't think it's aspirational to just like say whatever's on your mind. Like, I don't think but you that. Used, but you. F- oh, you, yeah. yeah. I used to wear that like that Proudly. badge. One hundred percent. I'm like, that's me. You're going to have to deal with it. Like. <laughs> I don't think that's cool at all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, my God. I totally feel that. I used to be. I feel like I used to be the same way. If I look at things that I said, like when I started my account, for instance, because I thought that nobody was watching because (laughs) I thought it was like badass and cool. And I really at the time wasn't thinking about the people. Do you know what I mean? I was talking about. Right. Like they weren't. Now I think a hundred times about the person that you're posting. I have about. to feel like okay with Kendall Jenner knowing I'm doing a vagina zoom. Right. You know what I mean? Like, okay, she'll see it. It's not bad. Just zooming in on the veg, you know? Yeah. It's not and and if I say something that's a little like snarky, then I, I have to really go through it's a quick process, but it is a process of like, how do you feel about this? Are you okay if it gets to that person, which with the internet today could get to that person. Fairly easily. It will. It will. It will. It will. Yeah. Um, then you have to be okay with it and be, and I think that it used to be like, just like say whatever if they like, no. And you also want to be like a, a good person. A good person. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you have more people now like coming at you, yeah. like your original yeah. followers being like, you're not the same. Well, like you've gone soft because you. Yeah. About the Kardashians. But it's like, you know what I said to that? If you became friends with them, would you talk shit about them? <laughs> totally. <laughs> no, really. If they gave you exclusive interviews on your podcast and treated you like a fucking friend, would you turn on them? Totally. No. You, you jealous you... bitch. But I also think you, you're kind of like that about everyone that you post about. Mm-hmm. You're you're not mean spirited whatsoever. Um, and I think that like it's. I think that's like a great shift in the other direction because right now it's like everybody's just behind their computers just saying whatever the fucking savage shit that they want. You know what's wild? It's like those people 
where is that going to bring you in life? Like, oh, no, I know. Yeah, exactly. Like, where like, is it going to get you? Like, no one's going to be like, can, do you want to do a brand deal? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> even if this person gets a, a million followers by talking shit or being mean, like, you're, it's not going to be a business for you. No one's going to like you. Like, how is that the vibe? Just to be like, an asshole like I don't feel that at all so if anybody comes for me it's usually about the Kardashians I feel like but um then that's what I will say a million times over you know what I mean and that makes the most amount of sense yeah like the Ray J stuff um that came out recently I mean that was like kind of fascinating and I wasn't that you you know what was so wild nobody was talking about it like I don't know what Kris Jenner pulled I know I literally like posted it I thought it was funny like he's hilarious by the way if you want to watch like stand-up comedy watch his live <laughs> because like hilarious um he's crazy but like funny like you really watch it I like was like he thinks this is breaking the internet and like nobody cares anymore like I literally googled Wait, but it I cared Wait, like, like you want to know what went down um I, I don't care like I I don't it's not like it'll change my opinion on either one. I love Kim Kardashian. So like it if if we found out that Kim and Chris facilitated Chris this 100% whole thing, 100% didn't watch the fucking tape and say my daughter doesn't look good from that angle. I mean, it's crazy, but I was definitely interested in like the things he was bringing up on his screen and he's like, "Look at this contract that like he could have typed out himself and like scri- like scribbled a signature." But he was saying it with so much fervor and like passion that I was just like, "I believe him." It's not going to take away my love for yeah. Chris or but Kim, that's what but I like, think it is wow. that like Here's why I think people didn't care and why it didn't make headlines because it legit didn't either because Chris Jenner like nobody's going to cross her. I don't know. Or because I think that everybody kind of assumed that like something went down there and like maybe Kim knew and like me. So like we didn't it wasn't like groundbreaking. Yeah. It wasn't like I don't even remember that on yeah, the show. Was she was fl- like flor- <laughs> florals for spring. <laughs> That's basically it was floral. Yeah. Florals yeah. It was for like, spring. yeah, we knew that like it made her famous and maybe she had something to do with and it. Like it really doesn't matter. I it doesn't think- matter at this point. Have you watched it? No. I'm- Ever? No. Really? Is that like a, th- I mean, I, I haven't. Have- and then, um, my friends one day were like, have you not we were out that's kind of a fun way to watch it my friends and I watch it out like while drinking I would it's not that intense it doesn't like go through a gazillion positions it's like it's like a little I would feel like I'm violating her her. me too and especially since like I was in that position of a sex tape wait bring me back bring me back wait wait, wait. bring me back bring me back wait with who oh no I didn't even like say his name starts with an f frank God, wait, why did I even bring this up? Wait, the bartender. Yeah. Ew. No, that was the one of the that was. I can't believe that's who you decided to film. A tape Shut. With. I didn't film. It. No, it was of myself. Oh, I filmed right. video of myself, <laughs> sent it to him. Oh my God, you had a legit Kanye rate. Didn't Jax go get it? Like, am I making no. this up? Who got it? Um. Oh, Lisa paid off, paid him off ninety thousand. No, nine hundred dollars. <laughs> this this the story is it's like questionable. I totally just. But oh my god. The yeah the the events oh my god, of saucy. the story and the plot is questionable. All I know $900. is like that was maybe worse than twenty twenty. Like what happened? Like, like to, that and also that you're worth nine hundred dollars. No, oh yeah, don't you think I remind Bo of that on the reg? <laughs> Nine hundred dollars. I love how I made it ninety. That like how good Thank of a you. friend am I? Thank you. I'm like nine hundred million dollars to you. release the tape. Yeah, that's why I feel like I can't watch anybody else's sex tape because it was the most hum- humiliating. Isn't even the right word. They're like, I I don't know what how humiliating to the nth degree. Like degrading. Did knowing anybody see it? All the people at TMZ. Everyone passed it around. Sheena passed it around to all of her friends and her husband at Wait, the time. It was on TMZ. No, like dude he, he, went it, into TMZ was, with the tape to on his phone to show, and they couldn't release it without my permission. Can you? S- oh, that's so. Ah, uh. so. Uh, so like but also this was years after the other sex tape so maybe that was like a new thing but it was a it was a big deal and i was like on the phone with lawyers all the time did anybody try to tell you but if you sign we'll pay you i'm sure i don't know i mean i'm 
I was in such in like getting rid of it mode that like I I don't think I entertained Wait, so you any. You know that TMZ saw it, and how did it get to Sheena? Because he, Sheena was friends with him, which is also why I moved to New York. Oh, to get. And away I'm like, from I don't want to be around this. This yeah. is like, this is horrible. It's a well, horrible she really, way. Really, I feel like might hate you. Yeah, I think she, she might does. hate you like for real. No, like I think she does. <laughs> yeah, like they it's it's very it's yeah. like it's obvious. Yeah, it's like okay. Is it still? Do you think there for her? Or is, for, like the that is she still living that? I mean, I hear that she talks about you about me often. Did, but did she want to be invited bizarre. to your wedding? I, it seems that way. <laughs> it's it's all very confusing. Yeah, I'm just like we don't really. Didn't you have like thirty talk. people at your wedding? Thirty four. It's it was small. a small ass wedding. It's really small. It was nothing personal. Like if you're not one of my closest friends, you weren't. And if you're there. not going to be like happy for me yes. like you want people at your wedding where like i remember when i was at the hoopa it's the jewish thing and i was looking out it's like you want to know that every single person that your eyes lock with are people that like yeah. are 100 percent happy for you totally want your happiness like that's not the vibe there 100 percent. and also like i I'm I'm 34 years old. I'm not giving out courtesy invites because I'm scared of hurting somebody's feelings. Like if I ha- if I'm not close to you or we haven't spoken in forever, why would you think in the first place? Yeah. That you would be in my... Maybe, like, I think maybe she, like, lives on the show. And, do you go to get what I mean? No, I absolutely like do. Like, the way on the show, you guys, like, do the trips yeah. together and, like, No, and, and I think that is, like, 90% of it. And and I actually, like, have empathy for that. Like, <laughs> being You're in... You're like, I actually feel bad for that. I do. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, you don't live that because anymore at all. I've been outside of it for so long that I'm like, that's not a way to live. Yeah. There is a better way to live. Like, because here's the thing. I feel like with her... It's like, and I I remember watching the show and feeling bad for her that like she isn't making better choices of who to surround herself like surround herself with people that actually like you want to be your friend and right. it's, maybe that I feel like that hasn't clicked yet like be with people that love you and want to be around you you know what I mean yeah and I mean she has a lot of friends yeah I'm not worried about her yeah at but all. I mean if she could stop I mean not here I am now talking I know <laughs> but like. Yeah, because yeah. she. Cause it's the, like let's just leave it. I'm not. I'm not on it anymore. Like let's just leave it. Settle. Well, she was thriving off the Jackson Brittany drama. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It was interesting. It was a lot. Did you clear that up on your podcast about like the Jackson Brittany not coming to the wedding and all that? You did talk about it. I felt. I felt. Like I talked made... about it. I never said their names, and I still don't want to. Like it's. It, there's no point, and I. I I don't and I know even by doing this podcast that like it'll stir shit up again. I'm not here to stir shit up. Like I'm totally fine all of us not talking and not Nobody's communicating. Talking? Well meaning I'm not talking to them. Them to them anymore. Like like I don't like it's it's fine. Like not everyone is meant to be friends forever. forever. And right. just because I was on a show with people it's like people think that those were the only people in my life ever because right. we were coworkers and right. viewers forget that like I have friends and family outside of the Vanderbump show. rules yeah. and it's been like that for forever so when you're wondering why someone wasn't invited to a birthday my birthday party or like a wedding or Hartford's or something it's it's not personal it doesn't yeah. mean that like I don't like them it's just that like they're not my people yeah I have other people okay so question were you since you were like it's me were you were you <laughs> one more time one more time Amanda <laughs> one more time were you like it's me fucking wedding or no no someone made me do that once as a joke oh my God, stop. someone made me do someone. it someone. once someone. as a joke and uh it, no and no, but, I was what, the was chillest that vibe That's oh no no I was the everyone actually says Com- this i actually they- compliment now i'm i remember because your book tour was when right before yeah and you were like i'm like are you getting married like next week like right it was right before yeah. Mm-hmm. so yeah you were chill no yeah it was it, it, everyone t- tells me they're like i've never seen a bride more calm and chill and i think that that's because i had zero pressure on me you yeah. know what i mean like i got to enjoy everything and the way that I wanted to, like it wasn't being filmed. I didn't have to have anybody there that I didn't want to have there. It was, it was intimate. It was, I'm, I've realized actually being outside of reality TV that like, I'm not as exciting and dramatic as I thought I was. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually pretty bore bore. 
and well, well you got older you know yeah but why well, i think maybe it was always in, in the me. in the wait in, can you clear it up were you smoking cigs in the back of the restaurant oh fuck know? yeah all the time like chain smoking oh my god seasons one and two like that's all i did did everybody smoke not everyone. Most people. I feel like most people smoke. Yeah. It's so vintage. It's so vintage. But like if I were to ever see that like pop on my screen, like I would What was your shudder. Say? What was, um, what's the mint, the ones that you crush? The, the crush. The mint? The crush. The menthols. Camel crush. Oh my, that's like gross, Stussy. But like. I know. But like savage. I know. You know, you know what? Camel Crush. No, I'm did not here to defend. Smoke, did everybody smoke Camel Crush? Or just, yeah. Most of us did. Yeah. That was the vibe. And then like if Memphis we wanted to vibe. quit, we would smoke American Spirit because it tasted so oh shit. Oh my God. American Spirit is like you want to faint like yeah. and it, smoke a 12 minute cigarette. Like um, that's insane. Yeah. No. So you were all serving with like cigarette breath. 100%. <laughs> Wait, now I'm remembering another thing you made me do. So when I was obsessing over the show, I went to Sir. When I came to LA. I thought you were going to say I went to Claire's and bought statement <laughs> necklaces. <laughs> that I was not influenced by. Um, and I was like, go- I know for sure I want the goat jays balls. And like you hype them up way Let me defend. too much. Let me defend. And everyone on the cast right now will actually. This might be the only thing they'll defend me <laughs> over. Okay. The one thing, the one thing yeah. that we're all in agreement over. After Vanderpump Rules came out. Sir got lazy with the way their goat cheese balls were because everyone was ordering it. There was not one table that didn't order goat cheese balls. You're welcome. Yeah. But so they just became not what they were. Mm. And I personally still think that the ones that are there. Do you eat there still? No. But like it's (laughs) been the last time was like right before COVID. Yeah. They were still delicious. Just not what they were were okay so you think i got a like i got the batch when it stopped being good tom tom also has really good goat cheese balls do you go to tom tom tom's um, open I feel like once a year i do what? oh that's cute once like when it's year. like schwartz's birthday or Wait, something does Peter important. still work at sir i think so this is so weird i've never talked about like it feels like i'm like an unloading well, that, just like I, but you know what so but for that, two that's years what, i haven't really talked about you, it. like old amanda wanted Stassi from Vanderpump Rules. So she got her. Yeah. And she's going to go here there. Here I am. And here she is. Stassi from Vanderpump Rules. Even though, like, I had so much, like, I really want to talk to you about, like, the baby stuff because, like, we're both moms. We can talk about it on mine. Okay, relax. We didn't finish yet. Christian. Oh, I thought it sounded like you were wrapping it up. So that's why I was like, oh, well, <laughs> you're like, oh, more for me. <laughs> well, okay. So I will. Okay. So to no, wrap it up, we can talk about. Oh, no, no, no. No, I mean, the most, I just wanted to say, like, the book, the last book. Off with my head. Book, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the dedication to Hartford at the beginning. Hartford. Yeah. You saved me. It's true. I will, I will cry. No, I know like, you it will. Is, like that is the that's it like that that she has this is like not supposed to be serious right now like i, know, I feel but like i just that i'm cringy. Page, i feel like i feel like you should frame it i mean that's not a bad idea you do have a gazillion I, frames that's like your aesthetic no <laughs> it totally the weirdest is. aesthetic can we talk about your weird ass aesthetic too yeah. She's such a I'm, different vibe. I'm Sassy. thrilled to touch about to talk about that. That's so fun. Let's talk about my aesthetic. <laughs> she's what crying. do you what do you think no. my aesthetic is? No, because like I feel like people maybe that don't follow you closely would just like think, you know, you'll have a house like Tom and Katie and yeah. whatever had. But like you live in this like I'm really sad we didn't actually come to your house I know. today. Um like, I'm just I'm just seeing all the picture frames in my mind and all the like literally Hartford's room is like from 1943. Like I would go with like 1843 <laughs> if we we're being. Where did this come from? This like ancient. It's, it's like ancient <laughs> might not be the right word. Antique. I've I've really always been into antique okay, kind of things. Yeah. I've always loved like um a cluttered like old world feeling and like I've always loved period pieces and and movies and shows like that and I that's just always been something that I really 
liked and was interested in. I just was super like poor back then. So I couldn't really <laughs> lean into it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, you can't like really lean into that with an apartment. Does Bo just go with the flow? No, he's so into it too. Like if you were to have seen, that's one of the things that actually sold me on him when we first started dating. I saw his apartment and there was so much character and personality and he just collects things from like wherever he travels and the attention to detail in every single corner of the room like he just he, but his like his as personal aesthetic is rams is very different than you yeah rams and vans rams and vans <laughs> and like the ta- the the colorful the tattoos. tattoos yeah like yes like dad different. hawaiian shirts sometimes if, is he, does he wear Hawaiian I don't know. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm making up an outfit. But but have you ever tried to, like, change up his style? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely have. To no avail. Yeah, no. And I've learned that to just accept and love him for who, who he, he is. is. Yeah. And you also, it's like, now I even like it. It's, I get that it. Make, like, when people, he gets really insecure when people will be like, they're commenting on my short pants or they're commenting on my crazy hair, blah, blah. He's like, Aww. that was a choice. And I'm like, I know. And it was a great choice. And I love those choices. And now I so like cute. it. So, like, Rams hats for days. He has really chic Rams hats, I will say. Like, they're not the standard Rams hat that you can just and go and find. And you've leaned into, like, being a sports-loving wife. No. I have leaned into support. Okay. Like, I will never love sports. I will never love football. Like, that's never going to be who I am. But, like, I support what he loves. Yeah. And so I will wear the Rams colors and some Rams Does he try to dress up hard for it in, like, Ram shit? Yes. He'll put it out in the morning and he'll be like... Can you please just like for today? Yes. Do you do it? He takes the Instagram photo and he's like so proud of it. Yeah. It's really cute though because I feel like he does live his own life. Like he has a, his own job and whatever, but he still always loved doing things with you. Like when you had your live show. Yeah. And he, you do the podcast with him on Patreon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, we now spend like ever since COVID. Yeah. So, like every day together. We've like learned to just like work together. Do you, is it a lot? It is at times, but it also made me made us realize that like there is quite literally nothing that could split us up. Like going through like everything that we've gone through just like together and then working together to survive on top of it. Yeah. It's like there there's the amount of respect that we have for each other in and, and lo- like it, there's just nothing that could literally I could not see anything divorcing us. Yeah. You that's know, amazing. Um, before we wrap up, I just want you to give me credit real quick on your hair color. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> no, you did. not this, this I did because I was no, I was thinking about this this morning when I was doing because my publicly hair. You didn't. And we need to really correct. You're that. not the only one that said that to me. OK, so what Amanda's talking uh. about is that she DM'd or she she's you've DM'd me this and you've also said it in person. Because, like, when you saw me in person, you're like, your hair is really bright. Oh, my God. And you got scared because it was right before your wedding. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's really blonde. And you're like, why? Is it not good? I don't know. Was it, I, uh, Should I have gone? I leaned into the blonde. Maybe after the wedding, I did this. And I was like, no, it's perfect. But I th- then told you that I love season one, like, beginning Stassi hair. Yes. Okay, go on. Okay. She said this to me. And I was like, I... I know that people tell me this a lot, too. And I've I've already wanted to switch up okay. my hair as well. I don't well. know if you did. It was very blonde at the time. You know what? I'm just going to give her the credit. Amanda said, I think you should go back to season one Stassi hair. And I listened. And here you are. And here I looking am. Looking better than ever. Looking, You're welcome. I'm looking better than ever. Are you ever going to go back to really, really blonde, you think? Yeah. Oh, you think, yeah? Yeah, eventually. I mean. What's your real color? This? Just like. Just like. The root. The root, I just like, like a dirty so dishwater. This is so good. Sometimes I think I might not be pretty enough for like, it. You have well, to. You have... are, but I think. Oh, and I also wanted to say, what do you think about the fact that people tell us we look alike? Um, compliment because you hot, you gorgeous. Thanks, baby. Do you get it too? Do people say it to you? Um, people don't really tell me I look like anyone. People like so many times I'll post a photo. Maybe it's because I'm be more like, famous than probably. you. Probably. <laughs> probably. Probably. And then they'll be like, you look like Sassy here. And I was like, no, okay, you kind like of at do. my wedding and like things like that. No, I see photos or I see things that you post where I'm like, that reminds me of me. Like mm-hmm. 100%. Yeah. Post Chenna implant. Yeah. I mean, I would never accuse. I would never. 
associate you with my pre gym <laughs> face. Stassi, I love you. Thank love you so too. much. I'm glad this happened after after ten years. Yeah, for fucking ever. And straight up with Stassi is back on Wednesdays. On Wednesdays. And your book off of my head. It's out. It's out, baby. It's out. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay.